In today's video, I'm going to be going over how I set up my Weeble trading platform for day and swing trading. And we're gonna go all the way from the very beginning and how to get your charts to look exactly like what you see here, start to finish, including my PL statements over here and my trade execution platform stuff, of course, and the charts and things that you see here. Uh, Weeble is really cool because you can build it however you'd like. Yours might not look exactly the same as mine. There are so many different key features that you can set up on your Weeble account. Account. But of course, I'll be going over how I set up mine so that you can maybe take some bits and pieces how you see fit. Before we get into the setup, I do want to remind you guys there will be a link down below in the description. If you don't already have Weeble and you'd like to set it up for yourself, it is a really awesome brokerage that I've used for years now and highly recommend it. The link down below in the description as well will also get you 12 free shares when you sign up and deposit. Even if you just deposit one single penny, you get the shares and you can do whatever you want with them. You can sell them right away and withdraw them or you can keep them and trade them. Totally up to you, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, but again, use that promo code down below in the description. I'm sorry, the promo link down below in the description to sign up. And there we go, let's get started with the setup. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when setting up your Weeble trading platform, if you want it to look like mine, is head over to this new layout button in the top right. Now I'm using the Weeble desktop version. There is a browser version, but this is uh, different looking than the desktop version. So this, this uh, tutorial is basically for um, uh, the downloaded desktop version only. Now, I will say you can see some of my other uh, layouts here. I do have several different computers. I have a, um, a studio office as well as a home office uh, where I do a lot of my my different recording and my um, you know my my office, my company office. So I just have different layouts for different places because what Weeble does is it sets it to your specific screen, and so the dimensions are going to be slightly different. So I just have you can see I'm using my main dash home office. That's what I've named it. But what you're going to want to do here is you can save all your layouts. These are layouts here on the screen. Um, so you can see I have my options one for my options trading. I might show you guys a video on how to set that up in the future if you're interested in that. Um, we have my main home office, main work office, and I just have my main. So here is what you can do. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to open up a blank layout and you can see we can just collapse the all widgets uh, function here. I'm looking just at a blank canvas. Now I am in the custom section. When you're on your Weeble platform, of course you got your account details, your watch list. You'll have more than these. You can actually remove these, by the way, if you're interested in doing that so you can remove things. I keep it as simple as I possibly can on my Weeble account. So I've got I've gone to my custom account uh, or my custom tab here, and this is where we want to add widgets. You can click this folder or you can just head over to the add widgets function here in the top right. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do here, or at least if you wanna make it look like mine, is click the chart function. So the first thing you'll see here is that your chart function comes up and I personally like to have a good size chart on my screen. Um, again, I like to do my analysis within Weeble. One of my favorite things about Weeble is that the analysis is actually really smooth and not clunky. Sometimes different trading platforms have really poor you know, trading analysis. One of the biggest reasons for me, I'm an active trader, so I'm constantly looking at charts. I want things to feel nice and be smooth and Weeble checks all the boxes for me. It is probably the smoothest platform that I've been on so far. Anyways, um, we've got our chart here. You can see there's all different indicators and if you want indicators on your chart, man, it's so cool. Weeble has so many different available. So uh, again, shout out to the Weeble team. They've got so many different features that you can plug in. For me, I'm mostly a price action trader, so I'm not really using too many indicators, but if I ever want them, they are there. Anyways, we'll come back more to the chart in just a moment. The first thing I am gonna do is I'm just gonna remove all the indicators and we'll come back to the chart in just a moment. Let's make that a little smaller just while we get started here. So again, we just added our, um, our chart and uh, we're gonna come back to this. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my uh, my watch list. Now in Weeble, it's really cool. You can actually set up a watch list, which is really cool. We'll come back to, let's see, we'll, we'll come back to some of those other things in just a second. You can see there's so many different things. It's really, really cool. And that's why I said, when you get into this, feel free to make it your own, uh, but I'm just showing you my tutorial. So I wanna add the watch list, okay? So watch lists here, 
are going to show you, let's go to my trading watch list. So this is one that I built previously. I actually have a video on how to set up uh, that. We'll link that in the top right of the video. If you wanna go watch or open maybe another tab and you can watch it when you're done with this video, um, a tutorial video on how to make a watch list. You can make a watch list really easily in uh, Weeble. So these are things that I personally trade pretty frequently. So, you know, just again, your own preferences here, whatever you like. Uh, for me, of course, like I said, um, this is my, my trading watch list. I've got 10 things that I isolate here and I wanna show you something here. Um, so I'm trading things like, uh, this is a corporate bond ETF, this is the Russell, uh, this is an oil ETF, this is another bond ETF. Uh, another, so QQQ is for example, a, a trade that I'm in. Um, so this is the NASDAQ, you've got the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, these are ETFs. and uh, as US clients, sometimes a lot of my audience is based in foreign exchange or futures or they trade something other than stock uh, ETFs or things like that. I trade a lot of ETFs. It's the primary thing that I personally trade. Um, yes, you can do things on futures, but I'm actually so in love with the Weeble platform that I prefer to trade ETFs. I find shares to be easier anyway, so this is why we're doing this. But anyways, um, you know, I've got my watch list. Here's a gold ETF and an SLV ETF. If you're somebody newer to stock ETFs, feel free to add some of these things to your watch list if there's something you're interested in. The next thing I'll show you here before we go further is you can actually remove these columns. So I like to remove things like the spark line. I don't need uh, much here. Actually, for me, I'm gonna hide most columns. And also, um, you can actually just open this up here and go into full detail. So like, for example, if I just want to keep it really, really simple, and maybe I just want to essentially, uh, you know, I want, I want to remove pretty much everything from my thing except for the symbol and the name, right? I can actually do most of these things and you can see all the different selected items. If I just wanted to essentially get rid of almost everything, which is pretty much what I like to do, I like to keep it super simple on my watch list. There's a lot of clicking here, but um, you can see here that simplifies things pretty well and I think that looks good. So I'm just gonna go there. Okay, so now I can just go ahead and move that over here. I do like to have the name on there, you know, preference is up to you. Uh, but again, this kind of tells me, you know, this is the S&P 500 ETF, the Dow Jones, right? Um, whatever you'd like to do, you can, you can make this how you'd like. But again, let's just leave that there for a second. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually add a, uh, whoops, let's not make a new layout, let's go back to this. Let's actually now go back to our ad widgets and we're gonna go back to the trade uh, function here. And I like the classic trade uh, widgets. So when this opens up, you can see this is our uh, execution thing. And this is really, really super easy to use. Again, it, it has a built-in risk calculator. So again, when you take trades, um, you know, if I was to take a, a trade here and I put a stop loss, it tells me my estimated loss, that sort of thing. So highly recommended. Um, you know, I, I love this this tool for that. Now, what I will say too here is that what I like to do uh, is I like to actually combine these two things. And I love that Weeble allows you to do this. I can actually stack these two things together. So now with one section of my screen, again, time or, or space is pretty important to me. So I like to keep things pretty uh, consolidated. Bam, bam, bam. I can switch over very quickly between my execution and my watch list. Now. The next thing I'm going to do here is we're going to need to actually be able to track our positions open and closed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to add another widget. And in this case, what I'm going to go do is I'm going to do positions. Okay. So you can see naturally I've got a lot of different trades that I'm involved in. I'm trading um, the NASDAQ. I've got some uh, options trades that I'm involved in. So I've got a lot of stuff going on on my account right now. So what we can actually do with the positions tab is this is really cool. We can go position settings and instead of showing all of my open trades at once, which can be really confusing to look at, how about we take away uh, all in the account and change it to selected security. So let's do that and you'll notice nothing changes. Well, that's because we need to set this to a group. So real quick, let's just set this to group one and I'm gonna show you something now. Let's close this for a second and let's set this to group one. So if we go to QQQ, this is a trade that I have open right now. 
you can now see my trade and the only thing showing in the positions tab is my QQQ trade. Really cool, because now we have a simplified view of what's going on in the trade at this time. And we need to add this as well to the group. Now, the reason we're doing this, by the way, is that what this does is it tells all the different widgets to react to a change. That way I'm not changing QQQ over here and then going over and changing it here, and then changing it over here, right? I don't wanna have to do that three times. So I can just do it once and they're all in the same group and bam, we're good to go. Now I mentioned, I like to have a good size chart on my screen. So what I do here is I like to shrink this down and I like to pull this chart over. Give me plenty of room on the chart there. So where to go from here? We're pretty close to done, but there's one, a uh, couple of st extra steps that I like to do here. So let's go to this position tab for a second. You can see it's kind of hard to see. I keep it pretty tight, like I said, to um, keep my space really consolidated on my setup. So what we can do here is we can now go in again, right click, and let's do position items. And again, in this case, what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and reduce things down a lot. What I like to do is I pretty much like to keep things really simple. And what I do is I just go open PNL and dazed realized. So you can see in this case, especially if you're day trading, this is nice to have both. So let's actually give ourselves a little bit of room so that we can adjust this days realized and that will work right there. Okay. So what I've done here now is I've made it so that you can see the symbol that I'm trading, right? QQQ. You can see the open P and L my trade. Uh, I, the market is closed right now. It's 9:55 at night. So it is uh, nighttime. So the markets are closed. Uh, at least the stock market and this new column here days realize had I closed this trade at the end of the day if I was day trading with this this would have showed the closed realized profit for the day or loss if it was a loss so uh, next up the last thing to add here is let's go back to our ad widgets and I'm going to show you guys uh, how to get your quote here so this is just an optional one what I like to do here is again, remember we need to add this to the group. You can see it's SPY right now. It needs to be QQQ, which is the NASDAQ. So let's change it and there you go. We just assigned it to the group. And I like to go ahead and tuck this guy right in the top right hand of the screen. And now we are pretty much done. The last thing we can do here is we can actually get our charts looking nice and snappy, of course. Totally up to you how you wanna do this. For me, one big thing is add the extended hours this will show you the pre-market as well as the uh, open market. And let's just, for example, let's make everything black here. So um, custom background color. And again, jump into this. Again, all you do, right click, go chart settings, and you can play around with this. Now also, um, I like to remove the grid in the background. And there we go. Uh, my color is, again, slightly different. I like a nice, like, soft uh pastel -y gray black but again that's just preference you do this for seven years or whatever i've been doing it for and you start realizing how important colors are when you stare at all the time i do like the dark layout of weeble uh you can actually change it to a different color so for example if you want to go you know light mode i know a lot of traders love their light mode that is an option to me that is glaringly uh light i prefer the um i like this soft I just love this color uh, array. Actually, sorry. I actually do the um, I do the the all black, but then I change my color to that like pastel -y, uh, gray. So yeah, totally up to you. There's some preference here. Again, chart settings. Um, I also like to get rid of some of the um, you know get rid of volume indicator values I don't need. I try and keep it as simple as I possibly can, uh, and then we get into kind of charting on Weeble, which perhaps we could set up another video for that. There you go, guys. The last thing you gotta do is just make sure you hit save as a customized layout, save it as you want, click save, and when you open up your template, I'm not gonna save this because I already have it, when you open up here, you should see it in your new layouts. There you go, enjoy Weeble, and remember, use that link down below in the description if you'd like to sign up and get free shares as soon as you deposit even just a single penny, you do get the free shares. You can sell them off and withdraw them, or you can keep them and trade them or invest them, whatever you wanna do, up to you. 
But again, get those free shares. Use that link down below in the description. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. If you're looking to improve as a trader, we've got some cool free resources here that I wanted to share as we close today's video. Down below in the description, there is a link to join our Discord channel or our Telegram channel. And we also have our website, a1trading.com, where traders can get access to free course material to help you improve as a trader. Remember, we are also live Monday through Friday on this channel around 9.30 a.m. US Eastern, broadcasting most live news events and that sort of thing. So hope to see you there. And also we do have a couple videos here showing up on the screen. If either of these seems like it might be helpful to you, then make sure to click here or here and we'll see you there.